Is it really only 100 degrees today? Okay, Kenny, concrete 130. I've got the Dometic RTX 2000 right here. I have it hooked to a single 100 amp hour Victron battery. We're gonna see how long this runs in 100 degree heat with one battery. Super simple, if you have five batteries, times this number by five. If you only have 400 amp hours, times this number by four. If you only have 300, times this number by three. Do the math, let's get it going. Kenny, let's just take a little gander here at the voltage. This time I charged this thing to 14.15, okay? I'm gonna screen record. Let me get to the Victron app. Let me get to the BMS, okay. I'm recording this, Kenny, okay? There's gonna be, oh, high voltage alarm. Okay, let's go ahead, okay. I get it, high voltage. Okay, we're at 14.3 volts. Temperature outside, or right at the connections is 95. Okay, I'm gonna turn it on. Okay, we're starting to see a little action, she's thinking. I'm at uh, less than one amp. Okay, it takes just a little bit. We'll hear her spin up. Okay, fans are moving. Two amps, three. You guys will see it takes a little bit to com for the computer inside here to figure out that it needs to start cooling. Just a, just a minute. Okay, we're at 10 amps. We're slowly, the compressor slowly kicking up. Okay, you'll notice guys, as the amperage increases, the voltage decreases. Why is that? Voltage dropped to it only being one battery and it's a super long wire we have here. The longer the wire, the more voltage drop we're gonna get at the unit itself. Okay, right now it's all the way up to 32 amps. 33, 34, 35. Well, 35, it's just going, going, whoa! Turbocharged, Kenny, you hear that? A little vroom vroom. Okay, this is higher than we saw yesterday. Why is it higher? It's 38, almost 40 amps. It's because we're outside, the ambient temperature is a little bit higher. 42 amps, okay? The highest I've seen it go to is 45 amps. Right now we're at 42 amps. 43. Now it's giving us a projected run time of two hours. Now why would that be, guys? Let's look at the math. It's a 100 amp hour battery. It's going 44, let's just call it 50 amps an hour. 100 divided by 50 gives us two hours, okay? Indoors at the lower temperature gave us roughly three hours. Kenny, the time it's race started is at basically 120. So let's go ahead. Hey Suri, start stopwatch. Hey Suri, are you there? Suri's not here. Okay, we'll just remember we started it at 120. And we're gonna let this thing run. 42 amps, it's hot out here. Give us, uh, give us an hour, we'll come back. We'll check in on her. Um, people may wanna know, they're always, what are the BTUs, okay? Let's check the temperature. I got the little gun right here. Let's get into it, okay? I always like to check this temp right now. This tells us the temperature of the heat that is being dispersed, okay? Out of the fans right now, Kenny, I'm getting 102. 110, 113, 111. Okay, coming out of the guy. Now let's check the cold air technology underneath here, Kenny. If I point this right up into the unit, we're looking at the 50s. I mean, that's a pretty big split for how hot it is right now, Kenny. Now let's go back over here, look at the BMV. We're at 13 volts right now. We started closer to 14. We do have some voltage drop. We're looking at our wires. We're not getting any heat off of them. Guys, let's come back in an hour and see what we got. 226, we're running at 49 amps per hour. Our voltage of the battery, surprisingly, is still at 12.85 volts. We've consumed 48.5 amp hours so far. It says time remaining is seven minutes. It's probably wrong. The temperature now shows 108, but I wanna remind you, that's the temperature of the wire connection right here that we're testing it off of. It's not the ambient temperature. So let's go over to the unit, guys. The fan is still rocking and rolling here. I'm sure you're gonna say it's loud in the comment, guys, but it's actually, this is the sound outside the van. You won't hear this inside the van. It's up on your roof, okay? We're still going. This is hot. Let's see what we got feeling here. Okay, this is still cold, just like it was before. No problem there. 
It's going to consume more electricity the hotter the ambient temperature is outside. Okay, we tested it yesterday indoors. We got the runtime for that. Now we're doing it outdoors. It's consuming about 15 to 20 more amps per hour as the ambient temperature has increased. So what this tells you is when you're designing your system, you have to factor in the ambient temperature as a deciding factor of how many batteries to get. Write that down. Hotter temperature, more consumptions, more batteries needed to run the exact same air conditioner. The things are linked together. I think we have a few more minutes of this thing to run. We'll come back when it's turned off and give you guys a final rundown of how long you can run a Dometic RTX 2000. Get the puppy in, Kenny. Puppy's over here at Nomadic Cooling. That's how we roll. How long you can run a Dometic RTX 2000 off a single 100 amp hour battery. We'll see you in a few minutes. We tested it inside, we tested it outside, we tested the Dometic RTX 2000 on 100 amp hour Victron battery. Now, to be tr fair, it's not the best test because the batteries weren't charged to the same number. I get it, I do apologize. Kenny will put up both numbers of what the battery starting voltage was and the time at which it took for the battery to be empty. And then he will also put the temperatures that either the room was or it was outside right here so you guys can see all that information. Now, why is this pertinent to you? A lot of people ask, how many batteries do I need to run a DC power powered air conditioner off grid? Well, take this number and then times it by the amount of hours that you want your air conditioner to run for. And that would be the amount of batteries that you should purchase. <clears throat> I feel like 300 to 600 amp hours of lithium power inside your mobile entertainment studio, your mobile off-grid adventure vehicle, your mobile casa is the right number. Now here's the important thing. This is only half the equation. This is how much it's going to pull out. The other part of the equation is how you're gonna refill your batteries tomorrow after you run your air conditioner all night. A lot of people forget about that. They say, I got some solar on the roof. It's not gonna cut it, guys. We need DC to DC charging capacity off your alternator while you're driving. And in order to do that over at Victron, we either use a buck boost we use a CL100 or we use a second alternator or a Cirrix LI. Guys, it's like a loop. Think of it like this, a big circle. You have, you're charging in up here at the top. It's either from solar or DC charging, okay? Or let's just suppose you're plugged into shore power here, okay? You have over here, you have your air conditioner. It's how much it's going to consume. That's just math, okay? Use the math. For this unit, you can use 35 amps on an 85 degree day, or let's just say 50, 50 amps on a 100 degree day as your math. And then the very next day, you have to figure out how you're gonna recharge your batteries. And then you're cruising, you got the whole circle of life right there. You got in, out, in again. Uh, normally this is where we would put in our commercial to let you guys know that we are full line Victron distributors. I would never be, stand in front of a sign that says Victron trying to get your monies over here at Nomadic Cooling. I wouldn't do that. Kenny, would I stand in front? Oh, shit. <laughs> as it turns out, Kenny. Uh, over here at Nomadic Cooling, we do sell all great Victron products like you saw in this video today. So if you need batteries, inverters, chargers, GX controls, uh, mobile connectivity into your electrical system, give Nomadic Cooling a call. And it just so happens we have all the goodies right over here from Victron. Kenny, it's all about the algorithm, okay? Good or bad, stick it in there, but like, subscribe, and put in a good or bad comment. And if you'd like to say something nice about my eyes or my stems, I'm also not mad about you, okay? I need constant reinforcement. <clears throat> Ryan's walking right through our shot. So we're not gonna pick up him walking on the grass at all. Don't even worry about it, Ryan. It's not a big deal. It's not perfection over here. Don't worry about it, Ryan. Okay. Like and subscribe and put a comment in there about how Ryan is ruining my shot. Okay, that's the important thing, okay? If you wanna go further in comfort, 
If you want to go further with a great piece of product, the Dometic RTX 2000 could be the product for you. And just remember over here at Nomadic Cooling, we don't drop ship these units. We have them in stock and ready to rock. So if you want to go further in comfort, give Nomadic Cooling a call and we'll ship you out a Dometic RTX 2000 tomorrow. My name's Jonathan. I call myself the Van Genius and my friends don't call me at all. Have a great day.